Yeah, g'day guys. Time for another hiking video with Ash and Stu. Um, so we're just out here today. Today we're going to explore a, uh, a hike that's known as the Steamers. It takes you to a bit of a rock formation, which um, is quite impressive. And it's known as um, the Steamers. And to get there is about a 6K or a 7K hike. Main range. Main range. It's about two hours out of Brisbane. And you actually do need a bit of a four wheel drive to get here because it's very remote. Just encountered our first little uh, rock scramble section. Definitely need to have uh, low range gauge because, um, yeah, she's she's a bit of a handful. So look, that looks like most of the technical part done. We've pretty much got this big, massive rock formation, which we just sort of snake our way around to the front side. But you do have some pretty cool cliffs on the way. What do you got here? Hey, folks. Hey. Yeah, this is one of the caves at our steamers. Jeez. So if you want a bit of a budget for footwear, I can highly recommend the old $40 Dunlop Wallies. Yeah, cheap and nasties, but I tell you what, they got grip for days. Path has kind of deteriorated a little bit. And, um, what sort of scares me a little bit is the fact last time Stu did this six months ago, he did say he saw a snake on this trail, so probably um, wasn't the best idea wearing shorts today, but Stu's all over. Stu got the memo. Of a scramble till we get to the, um, the final point. Might have to uh, go and lock the hubs in here and go into full low. Looks a bit technical. Oh my goodness. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is unreal. What do you reckon? Four thumbs up worthy, Stu? Oh, that's pretty good for a Monday. Isn't it? <laughs> hey? Yeah, definitely got to watch yourself when you're up here. Health and safety would have an absolute field day up here, but yeah, just got to keep your distance. But that view never gets tired. So pretty much this point we're standing on now is, um, is called the stern. And that guy right there is called the mast. So it's still as too, perfect drone weather. Be good if we did have a drone. Pretty successful mission. We uh, didn't lose anything. <laughs> no one dropped anything and no one fell off the edge. So that's always a good thing. So we're just going to start the um, return home now. So we did it in an hour 40 on the climb up. So we'll see how we go um, on the return trip. On the descent. Yep, we're on the descent run here, folks. We've got probably about an hour left, hour and 20 of daylight before it starts to get dark. So. Don't want to get too cocky and friggin' roll ankles and do some damage because we're uh, still a fair way out from the car here. It starts to get a bit, <laughs> a bit hairy. Ooh. 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 Oh, shit. I've got a blowout in my sock. I can feel a blister coming on.
definitely got to have your footing dialed because there's potential for uh, rolled ankles. So this is the top of the scramble section. So sort of glad we timed it just right for this area because um, we, you're definitely gonna want some light for this next section because it's just got rolled broken ankle written all over it. So um, we're just gonna have a quick drink, quick battery recharge and um, we'll jump right into it. Probably not doing justice on GoPro. She's bloody steep. It just rolls, it's just like marbles this section. I actually might keep my distance in case I push any rocks down on top of you. Fuck, he's done well there. He's he's gone full send. Not really a great deal to hang on to. Might just lower me center of gravity a bit. No You don't get lost folks. Yeah, definitely advise that you have some sort of navigation with you. Oh, righto folks, and here we have it. Yeah, as you can see, it's even there, even on the signage there, it doesn't sort of give you any sort of indication of like where to go. And well, what was the total round trip from start to finish, G? Uh, just over 9K. Just over 9K, and righto. We did it in three and a half hours. Three and a half hours, not too bad. We did um, stop and play around with the drone and get some photos and stuff, so. This is the car park. Basically, this is the car park. It's just a dirt road, and you just sort of park on the side here. So this is um, Old Mill Road. Yeah, Old Mill Road, for those home. playing at home. Comes off Emu Creek Road, I'm pretty sure. And it's unsealed for about 20 kilometers that way. So there are a few ruts. So you definitely want a vehicle that's got some um, a little bit of ground clearance. So, yeah, nothing too serious, but you wouldn't go bringing the old Hyundai XL down here. You'd probably struggle. Signing off. Signing off from the steamers. We're out.